I just really enjoy some friendships out there that I did not see coming. You know, a long time back we talked about these two guys, that being XQC and that being Ninja, which a year or even further back, they were uh, going at each other. It was XQC versus Ninja, XQC versus Ninja's wife, Jessica Blevins, and it seems that, well, it's all gone full circle, and they've maybe kind of made up because time and time again, it's actually XQC defending Ninja and what once was his reign of Twitch, his top of the charts when it comes to his Fortnite peak. We talked about this a couple weeks back where an article went viral for a lot of the responses to it of Ninja's fall in viewership. If you guys have not kept up, Ninja has taken a break from League of Legends, from Valorant, he's gone back to Final Fantasy, and then dabbled in games here and there, and viewership certainly took a big fall off for a short period of time until he recently returned to Fortnite where he was yet again back up to 10 to 20,000 concurrent viewers, but at that time, tons of articles took aim at Ninja and XQ QC took his defense. Because I would look at all the comments about this already. Guys, listen. He was saying, yeah, it's reasonable. It's not the data, and it's not them being analytical about this that matters. It's the way that they're wording it. It's like he's, um, oh my god, while he continues to play Final Fantasy. How dares he play a video game he enjoys and doesn't succumb to meta Andes and playing the right game at the right time for our enjoyment? It's like, dude, come on, man. Like why why are they doing that? It's really it's really odd though. It's just a wording of it. People have to people have to try and fail before anybody can succeed or whatnot, dude. And shutting down patterns of of uh, of attempting new stuff is stupid. It's dumb. It, it, it's like intended that every streamer is gonna be a bot that plays. My computer says play Warzone for three and a half hours and then switch to Apex for thirty six minutes. Watch a React video for twenty six minutes. I did it. Well, you're not gonna get anywhere with this. Things change, things move, metas change. If you try to hold down the number one spot, it, it'll eat you up. It doesn't exist. You, 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 you can't be number one. I don't see any. I don't understand why everybody takes exceed exceed on a pride and be number one. You're being carried by the game you're playing. You're being carried by the by the section, by the state of things. So many things that you cannot control are carrying you. You can only quantify your success based on what you are doing. And feel happy about what you are doing, what you are putting in. Because there's so many factors that you cannot control. Like control where you are. So stop thinking overly, uh, uh, creating a pride about where you're at. Because most of it, you would have no control over it. And now it's even further responses out there. And another defense from XQC, which is, uh, you know, you love to see it. Top creators out there and some big names just, uh, well, defending one another when it comes time for media outlets. And what they had to say about Ninja and his supposed downfall and his, his physical health, his mental health. There's been a lot of things said over the past, uh, well, couple of years now. And recently, XQC... QC defends him yet again on his fallen viewership and, and what he's been doing live streaming and outside of it. Subscribers to just 6,500. Yeah, yeah, see, Although he see this is why I don't like when people do uh, pure analytics, Andy, people who use statistics to try to, to oh, uh, stats this, stats that. If they were really to go about the statistics of it, um, you would have to make a comparison about the popularity of Fortnite on YouTube and on Twitch, popularity, popularity of mixers, uh, 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 people who transferred, and their uh, decline ratios, and, and make a comparison between both ratios of decline on, on, on both ends, and uh, on the game when they used to play, and now, and there's a lot of good things you can do with, with the stats, but now all he does is project his stats, and say that because it's his failure, and it's his lack of success, when there's a lot of things that are around it that, could, you could, that are super tangible. He's still Finally, the move to Mixer, although financially it, 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 beneficial- Guys, I, 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 I had to be rude to this guy making the video, but imagine gaslighting your audience and everybody else, that, that it's, these, what, it's these small instances and outbursts that make up the entirety of the failure of, of his entire career, stream, the directory, the game, the platform, his face, his health, his weight. Official like, Jesus Christ, man. Guys, guys, I, I don't want to watch this video and, and roast him and, and kind of clap him. But to be honest, some of these comments and some of these things, it's it's Yo, it's, it's nearly impossible to disprove it or, or or call it out without kind of being rude. Uh, there's no other way to do it. Uh, I, I, I'm just bad at it. I'm sorry if I, that was rude, but this this guy, that was just not it. 
chat and feed. That was just not a thing. That was just not a thing. But I really like what he first touched on. There are metas with Twitch, and if you want to just solely focus on being number one, you're going to bury yourself eventually on a platform that is shifting and ebbing and flowing every single day, so it seems. I mean, just name the trends we have seen in the past year alone on Twitch, the ups and downs ever since the Fortnite era that has long definitely tapered off for everyone. If you want to look at anyone who used to play Fortnite, or at least a fair number of names of some of those young stars or big names that peaked in Fortnite and obviously fell off, it's because a lot of streamers saw such utter peaks in Fortnite, there was nowhere else to go but down from there as we slowly wane ourselves out of this roller coaster ride that is Twitch. Heck, Halo Infinite could drop and Ninja could see a huge return, or it could be some gigantically different game that shows him uh, his way back to the top. Either way, he's clearly enjoying himself streaming. When he goes back to Fortnite, he still pulls very good viewership. He's enjoying the games he does play, and then when he does come back to a new game, We'll, we'll see how well he does. Despite that, over the past couple of weeks, he just debuted in his first movie, Free Guy, with Ryan, Re Ryan Reynolds, and he's still landing tons of big deals, so I think he's just fine with what he's doing, and I'd love to see someone like X come to his defense, also being a top name out there on Twitch, and doing incredibly well for himself on top of that. What do y'all think about it? I, I just never thought a year and a half later, we would see XQC defending Ninja like he is now, and it's it just certainly really respectable. What do y'all think? Drink some water, drink some coffee. I'll catch you guys back here next time. Take care.